can we talk about? Can we talk about? Things make sense. Can we talk about the fact that uh, apparently the WWE hates its fans? Mm. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Eleven. That's been a bit of a trend. Yeah, slightly. Uh, Michael Cole, Jerry Lowe, and JBL hate the fans. Yes. which is not a shock to me. <laughs> no, no. But but did it get leaked on purpose? That is the question. Um, yeah. I've uh, speaking as someone who's heard what they talk about sometimes before shows. That seems uncharacteristic, so it kind of seems like it's a purposeful leak. Hmm. And, and, and that's the thing. For those I haven't seen, there's a supposed leak shows. of the live stream of uh, because you know they're always recording. I, I I don't know the specifics of where this records to, but the cameras are still on, the audio is still live, <laughs> and somehow uh, this this footage of uh, it looks like it was before Raw. Um, them talking on the mic, kind of. Doing just their pre-show, okay? Where you know, they even like talk about, hey, what are the numbers tonight and stuff? But there's a CM Punk chant, and they're kind of making fun of, uh, well, that'll go, that went away quick. Yeah, there's not much steam in that, um, and and a few other choice comments about between all three of them, really, huh? Mm-hmm. So, I, and I also, if if you've seen, there's videos up. I, I don't know how the, they come into like contact with people, but there's like compilation videos of like. Some of that stuff where like raw, raw or like a tape show is like off the air basically, and you can hear some of the commentary and, and some of the stuff like that. And I, I don't, I'll, I'll agree with that entirely, Mike, because I, I, I remember watching one where like they're like Michael Cole and like Jerry Lawler or whatever, like making fun of Tony Chimmel because like he's trying to do his like reintroduction or whatever. Like, I, I don't think they'd be opposed to like saying that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I, I'm just saying from stuff that I've heard before. From pre raw, like their warm ups and everything like that. Like, I haven't heard them say anything that was that not offensive, but kind of controversial while it's being recorded because you never know. They're never, you know. they're never, yeah, they're um, never running people down. Is yeah. What you're saying, right? Yeah, like they're like they're usually just talking about stuff. Sometimes they'll say something like "Oh, good house tonight" or something like that, or they'll just like run over spots that they're doing. But it's never like that much of a yeah. Or tell a silly joke to each other before they go on there. They'll tell a joke to each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Oh, excellent. Hey, guys. Um, I I just throw in two cents from uh, my experience in um, television. Um. I mean, the talent's always taught to that, you know, act like the microphone's always on. So even when they're out there, you know, warming up, you, you have to understand that everyone can hear what they're saying and everyone can hear what you're saying and likely being recorded. I mean, they know that y- y- you have that mindset where, you know, everything I'm saying, anyone could be hearing this right now. So you, you watch what you say. Um, so that kind of makes me lean towards the side of this is probably something done deliberately things planted i don't know i i think people are leaning in this case I, not just in this case i should say but in all the stuff that has occurred recently of like well this is a work this must be a work like i don't know i think situations happen and i think there's a good if, you know if it's a work then that's fine like whatever but like you know i'm not sh- shocked that there's you know I, I think some people are looking into it a bit too much as far as like, well, this must mean something. You know what I mean? I would not be surprised if it's a work. I would be impressed if it's work too. Yeah. To, for them to do. I mean, I mean, I, I know they do every once in a while. We did have the CM Punk situation before where he left for a month. There's two titles, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we've had the Daniel Bryan gone for a few months and comes back. Um, this could completely be a thing that he leaves. Maybe he shows up. Wouldn't it be great if he showed up the night of the WWE Network? Wouldn't it be great if he did that the night of the WWE Network launch and there's an exclusive post? What happened? Where have you been? And that happens on the post show. Because mm-hmm. if they're going to do piddly interviews like they do on YouTube and the app, 